Did you know that 70% of roadways in the United States are in snowy regions? According to the Federal Highway Administration, over 100,000 people are injured in winter-related car accidents every year. My name is Jeff Kitzmiller, and in this short video, I want to explain National Weather Service watch warnings and advisories, then talk to the Department of Transportation about how weather affects road conditions, and I also want to talk with State Highway Patrol to discover safe driving tips. When the National Weather Service issues a winter storm warning or a winter weather advisory, it means that winter weather conditions are either occurring or are expected. A winter weather advisory means that it might take a little bit more time to get to your destination. With the right amount of preparedness and caution, you should make it to your destination. Here's one example of how you might react when a winter weather advisory is issued. Hey Bruce, what's up? Oh, hey Maggie, how's it going? Pretty good. What you looking at? Oh, I'm looking at the uh, computer here. I'm trying to figure out whether or not I want to go to the game tonight. NOAA has issued a winter weather advisory for our area for some moderate snowfall. I know the roads are going to be a little bit icy. NOAA? I've heard of them. Who are they? It's the National Weather Service. It's our local forecast office. Right. So are you still going to go to the game after work? I think so. I might need to leave a little bit early though. Yeah, remember the last time there was an advisory and you slid off the road? I do. I really don't want to remember it though because I'm still paying for it. Well, maybe you should allow for some extra time if it's going to be kind of bad out. Okay. When the National Weather Service issues a winter storm watch, it means that high impact winter weather is possible in the near future. For a winter storm warning, winter weather could be so bad that you may not make it to your destination or you may be stuck in traffic for so long that it's not worth going and roads could even be closed. Here's one example of how you might react when a winter storm warning is issued. Hmm. That's not good. Hi, Maggie. Hey, Bruce. Weren't you uh, thinking about taking your family over the past tomorrow? I was. Why? Looks like uh, Noah's just issued a, a winter storm warning for the passes for tomorrow for some very heavy snowfall and dangerous conditions. Yeah, that mountain pass can get pretty pretty bad with all that snow. Any chance you could leave early or maybe leave late and put the trip off or something? That's a good idea. I will. I'll tell my family we'll leave early. Yeah, they tend to have a lot of wrecks up there. During this segment, I'm going to talk with a Department of Transportation official to see how weather affects road conditions. Uh, Steve Felix, I'm the maintenance chief with the Montana Department of Transportation with the Missoula Division. Our mission is to provide a safe and well-maintained roadway during the winter season. Our mission also involves reporting road conditions to the public. Many states offer real-time road information online on 511 phone systems and with smartphone apps. I asked Steve which winter weather condition is hardest to deal with. One of the toughest conditions we've had is, is, is the, the ice that comes from the freezing rain. It's very difficult sometimes to even keep our own trucks on the roadway. Steve also mentioned that road mitigation is very dependent on limitations of de-icers and abrasives based on temperatures. I wouldn't say there's always just a standard application rate or a standard, or standard way that we apply our de-icers and our abrasives. It's all weather dependent. Another dangerous road condition is when it looks fine, but it's really not. Have you ever driven from a sunny to a shady area and found ice? You could have a sunny area and you could run into a snow shower and you could end up with uh, icy conditions in just a matter of a thousand feet. I asked Steve, how can drivers help when they see a snowplow truck? Give them a lot of space. Um, they're out trying to make the roadway safer for everybody. They don't travel as fast as, uh, as a lot of people would like to see sometimes. Um, those trucks are most effective when they're traveling about 30 to 35 miles an hour. Okay. That's when our, our plows are designed to work very well at those speeds. My name is Captain Jim Kitchen. I work for the Montana Highway Patrol in Missoula, Montana. I talked to Captain Kitchen, who gave me some really good winter driving tips. Always drive like there's a possibility of black ice on the road, especially in the fall and the spring when it's going to be noticeable right off the bat. Slow down, take your time, make sure you don't use cruise control, and always be aware of your environment and try to drive safely. I think one of the biggest things that I could say would be to check the weather before you go somewhere and just be about ready for anything to happen. What if a motorist comes across an accident? What should they do? If they're one of the first people on scene, we like them to pull over, stop, after, 
activate their flashers and pull off the roadway as far as they can, render assistance to the people that are hurt. Captain Kitchen also mentioned if emergency crews are already there, then... Give the, the other motorists ample warning that there's something going on, like turning your flashers on. Even if you're proceeding away from the scene on a two-lane highway, that way somebody coming down is not going to be alarmed as soon as they see those lights and hit their brakes and, and cause another crash. That's one of the big things that we worry about is secondary collisions uh, when we are responding to scenes. Captain Kitchen also made mention that motorists should carry a survival kit in their trunk. Boots, blankets, extra jackets, protein bars, water, and a first aid kit, just in case you get stranded. If you do get stuck in your vehicle and you have a lot of gas, don't get out of your car and start walking. Because if the weather gets really bad, then you're gonna get hypothermic, and a lot of people just lay down when that happens, and, and then we find people that are deceased away from their vehicle. Remember before you travel, Check the weather forecast, check the current road conditions, and be prepared with a survival kit. For your latest weather forecasts, go to weather.gov. And for additional winter weather preparedness tips, go to the website above. From the National Weather Service Missoula, this is Jeff Kitzmiller.